Welcome, folks, to Get Jabby. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Mariah. Hi. Garcia. <laughs> I wanted to say Carrie, and I knew that was wrong. You get that a lot? All the time. That's annoying. Probably right? just like you get. Tom Kuwait. <laughs> no, no relation to Tom Kuwait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dark Crimes, official trailer, that's what we're doing. With Jim Carrey, this is brand new. It's from Joe Blow Movie Trailers. I'm a fan of Jim Carrey, even though like he's not really doing the things that we were introduced to him on. I think that he's actually a talented actor, and yeah. I'm curious to see like what he's doing here. I think he's evolving. 23 is everybody's favorite movie, right? No one knows what that is anymore. <laughs> I, like the, I like the Truman Show, and I liked uh, Eternal Sunshine Eternal of the Spotlight. Eternal Sunshine Spotlight. is, yeah. yeah, and I love indie films. Strong and disturbing violent sexual content, including rape. Oh my God. Winner. It's a win. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, okay, he's an investigator, I guess. Okay, sex slave, sex trafficking, that's what we're dealing with. Uh -oh. I want my case. Be careful. They will come after you. Oh, okay. We have a suspect. A crime writer. His victim's body had the markings of someone choked to death using a fisherman's knot. Only the killer could know those facts. I think the book is your confession. But you get too close. Talk. You want justice? This is what they made me. Five girls leashed like dogs for what drives most Your hair was matted in blood. Don't forget who you are. This case is all I have left. What makes you think the murder even happened? Oh, you want to hear the truth? The river has an end and the beginning. Where is that actor from? Martin Sokas, is that his name? Was he the one in Into the Badlands? Martin Sokas, I think, or Sokas. I don't know how you say his name. I'm sorry, Martin, I apologize. I know that uh, you're frustrated with people not knowing how to say your name, but I did watch Into the Badlands. That is the guy, so I did recognize him accurately. I just couldn't figure out how to say his last name. Well done. This guy's got a long track record of films. He's a very, very talented actor. The character he's playing here is totally different from his character in Into the Badlands. Have you seen Into the Badlands? No. It's actually a very interesting show, at least the first season was. I haven't finished season two. He's very, like, creepy and unsettling the way his performance in there. You feel just like, ugh, like you gotta take a shower every time you see him do a scene because it's just so gross because he does the character so well. He's a very, very talented actor. And seeing Jim Carrey in this role is so fascinating to me because I associate from childhood his name with, the, like, some kind of comedic value. Right. Here, it's like very dark, and you see he's like immersed in this role. But I love it. Yeah, this yeah. This is what I want, because he has that, you know that he's capable of so much more, yeah. and this is exactly where he's like, I feel like he's going through some... Transition in his yeah, life? No, he's yeah. been going through transition. I think he's like channeling that. Yeah, I've been watching a lot about him in the past uh, few years. There was a Netflix documentary that came out about what happened after he did the Andy Kaufman uh, film, the, mm -hmm. the, the uh, biopic called uh, Man on the Moon. That movie just, or changed his life permanently. It's really neat to me that he's taken on this role. It's like, you'd never think, like, when I watched, oh, righty then, like, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, right. there's no way you could have anticipated that he would be doing this role, like, 25 years later. It's amazing to me. I'm very excited to see what he brings to the table. That almost reminds me of Robin Williams. If you've ever seen the movie Dead Again, I believe is what it's called, Robin Williams has a small role in there that's very dark and almost sinister. You wouldn't think that Robin Williams would do something like that, but he's he actually had a very serious side, and he was very good at playing yeah. that serious side. One hour photo is another example where he was a villain in the movie. I think Jim Carrey is very capable and I'm very excited to see what he, what he does yeah. here. Now, that, all that aside, this story makes me just totally uncomfortable, but there's something compelling about it at yeah, the same time. Yeah, I love time. it. It's attention grabbing. I guess it 
also sheds light on something that we don't like to talk about very often, which is sex trafficking. It's like, that's a very uncomfortable topic because we don't want that to happen to us or to the, our lady right. friends. I like it. I, I like that it's a dark film. Yeah. I want to see this. Anyways, that was cool. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please be sure to follow Mariah on the social media. She has stuff that you could probably see like somewhere below, or no, <laughs> somewhere here, I believe. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs>